Qatar joins the growing list of countries that have released a mobile application to help speed up the process of contact tracing. As part of its effort to combat the spread of COVID-19, Google and Apple even partnered to help governments and health agencies in this regard. All citizens and residents are obligated to install the Etheras app on smartphone for any reason so failure to do so will be having a penalty of Qatarial 200,000 or imprisonment of not more than three years so Etheras this wonderful application help us to follow up on the latest of COVID-19 coronavirus in Qatar so without any further ado let's get to the app So guys, please take note, for Apple users, the app requires iOS 13.1 or later. It is compatible with iPhone, iPad, and iPad Touch. So as per my experience, iPhone 6 is not compatible with this application. So as for Android, it requires Android 5.0 and up. Before downloading the application, make sure you update your phone software first. So first up, you gotta hit the Play Store, and in the search bar, you just need to type Etheras. Just install it, guys. So after installing and opening the app for the first time, you will be asked to allow access photo, media, and files on your device. You just need also to allow Etheras to make and manage phone calls and to access the device location so after that you just need to click start and accept the terms and condition just type in here your mobile number your QID number and the expiry date of your QID just press the get verification pin and an OTP number will be sent to your mobile number just enter it in the space provided on the app to complete the process Then, there you go guys, you will be able to see what is your QR health code and will now be able to use the application. So from the bottom of your name, you will see here a QR health code. So as you can see, this is green. So green means you are healthy and not exhibiting any symptoms and have tested negative. So if you see here, a gray color means you are a suspected person that exhibit symptoms or have been contact with COVID-19 positive cases. So yellow means you are been placed in the quarantine facilities. And red if you have been tested and had tested positive for COVID-19. So another thing guys, in this application, you will see your health status. Another thing, the statistics, if how many person are infected, how many person are dead already, and hotline also which you can call for technical and any related questions and inquiries and there is a notification also from this mobile application since this application are using bluetooth your battery will drain fast so here are some tips and tricks on how you will save your battery since this app are needed only when you are outside of your house once you get home you can go directly to the setting of your phone if you are using Android. So right now I am using Samsung. So I will go to setting. I will go directly to apps. And I will search here the Etheras. I'll get inside the Etheras setting. I will press here force stop. Then after that, of your Bluetooth so that it will not eat much of your battery then once you will go outside of your house again just go through the app then enter so as you can see guys the Bluetooth will be on automatically then press start then that's it guys if you are using Apple devices here's what you need to do just go directly to the setting of your iPhone Scroll down and look for Etheras. 
just click Etheras. Then you just need to turn off the Bluetooth background up refresh and turn off the location access, set it to never. And now, the Etheras app is not running and consuming the battery of your phone. So once you go outside of your house, just go through the app. As you can see it, there is a warning that your phone need to turn on what you've turned off a while ago in the settings so what you need to do you just need to go directly again to the setting scroll down and select etheras then just switch on again the location bluetooth and the app refresh now guys let's talk about other frequently asked question about this application so first question which hotline number can I call to ask about the app? So for all the technical related questions and inquiries, you can call the Qatar Government Contact Center, just dial 109. It is available 24-7 and available in 9 different languages. 109 QGCC is the official and unified hotline supporting Qatar Government e-services. So what are the languages available in this application? Right now, only two languages are currently available. It is Arabic and English. So you can choose the preferred language after installing the application on your phone. Next question guys. So why does the app need Bluetooth and location to be always turned on? So we all know that once our Bluetooth and location are always turned on, our battery will get drain fast right so according to the pop-up text once the app is opened bluetooth is used by the app for contract tracing with different users of the same app for covid19 prevention the moi replied on google play reviews that it is used to help identify if the person near you has been quarantined or infected so why does it need to access your storage so according guys to the ministry of interiors reply on google play store reviews the storage permission is required to check the rooted or jailbroken device for your own security so what if your qid is expired how can you register? The app requires a valid QID number. So according to 109, you need to first have your QID renewed. QID can be renewed using Metrash 2 app or the Ministry of Interior's e-services portal. So right now guys, that's it for now regarding this Etras app. So if ever you have a question, just don't forget to comment down below. What are your questions and insights regarding this Etras application of Qatar? So thank you so much guys for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more tech reviews like this. See you again on my next video.